What's going on, Firewall? We're here with a little workout brief. This is going to be Monday's workout this week. So our at-home workout, of course, it's gonna be consisting of three MRAP fives, and in between each MRAP five, we're gonna get a minute and a half of rest. So you will notice there are burpees in each and every one of these AMRAPs. However, lucky for you, the number of burpees goes down each AMRAP. And then that second movement it's coupled with gets switched out for another one every AMRAP. So on the first AMRAP five, it's gonna be 12 burpees and 18 sit-ups. So you're going back and forth between those two movements for five minutes. We're looking to get about three to four rounds in that AMRAP five. Then you get a minute and a half rest between the AMRAP. The second AMRAP five, it's gonna go down to nine burpees but this time it's 15 goblet push presses. We'll get back to that movement in a second. For this AMRAP 5, we're looking to get four to five rounds in, so a little bit more than the last one. Then we're gonna get a minute and a half of rest again. And then you're gonna have your last five minutes of work for the day. It's gonna be an AMRAP 5 of, now it's only six burpees and 12 alternating dumbbell snatches. We're trying to stay at about around a minute for this last AMRAP. So we're gonna wind it on back over here for our burpees and sit-ups. For your burpee, we're gonna get this one out of the way first. You can do a couple of different options. One, you can just do that kick back, kick up burpee, and for whatever reason, bending that elbow and going down to your chest hurts somewhere up in the arm region. Try to keep those arms straight, and then make sure you get that jump and clap at the end. For the full burpee, we're gonna put our hands to the ground, step or kick back, Go all the way down, peel the chest up, make sure those feet land flat, then a little jump and clap overhead. You can also step back and step up. For the sit-ups in that first round, we're gonna be on the ground. You can butterfly those feet together here, or you can keep them flat. Either way, you're gonna reach on back, touch the ground behind your head, throw your hands up and grab your toes. Or again, if you're doing feet flat, we're gonna reach on back, touch the ground. My shoulders are gonna come all the way up and touch my thighs. Then you have those goblet push presses. So this means you're only gonna use one dumbbell or kettlebell, whatever you have. You're gonna pick it on up. You're gonna grab each head of the dumbbell with one hand. You're gonna get your feet right under your hips. Your elbows are gonna be right under your hands. You're gonna get a little dip in those knees. You're gonna squeeze that butt and you're gonna press that weight straight up overhead, locking out those elbows. As that weight comes down, you can start going right into that next rep. If you wanna keep the reps fast, if you wanna reset, bring that back under your chin and then go into the next one. Finally are dumbbell snatches. These can be either a muscle snatch or a power snatch. So I'm gonna get my hips nice and low, keep my chest up nice and tall. That dumbbell is gonna be facing the same way as my feet. I'm gonna stand up strong. I'm gonna press that dumbbell out, wrist, elbow, shoulder, all stacked over one another. Then I'll come down, switch hands, and go right back up. I can do an extra dip under that dumbbell if I need to, to get it down and underneath and locked out. So choose whichever option you want. Choose a weight you can switch back and forth relatively quickly. Again, we are looking for sprints in all three AMRAP fives. So we don't wanna be going slow and trying to pace out the burpees at the beginning of any of the AMRAPs. It's a go, go, go type of workout. Just five minute spurts and then you get a nice solid rest. Good luck with this one.